I think there's two significant factors in regards to uh, what Angeli Jolie has done. Number one, she's acknowledged the fact that uh, she's a carrier of BRCA1 gene that with that carries a higher risk than average, quite significantly higher risk of developing breast and ovarian carcinoma. Secondly, she's taken a step forward to, to prevent the development of breast cancer as best as she can, and that is by prophylactic mastectomies, which reduce the risk of a woman who carries that gene by over 90% of developing breast cancer in the future. In our experience in British Columbia, the, the, uh, we have a hereditary cancer program uh, for women in the province that carry the BRCA1 and 2. Less than half of the women elect to have prophylactic mastectomies. So there are different strategies to reduce the risk, either with prophylactic mastectomies or to remove the breast prophylactically or remove the ovaries and the fallopian tubes, or there's also a strategy for earlier detection, which is with MRIs and, and mammography. And different people have different opinions, but in the medical community, it's probably better to prevent than to detect earlier. I think that for each woman, there's individual factors that come into their decision, where they are in their life, um, the type of surgery, whether they have reconstruction or not, uh, how it affects you know, their work life, their home life. Um, we offer recommendations and try to counsel people as best as we can to give them information, but ultimately it's their choice. So it is an interesting um, fact and one that I think deserves further research into what are the barriers or factors that uh, um, you know, these 50% or less or more women opt not to have this prophylactic surgery. So in the province of British Columbia, MSP covers uh, the prophylactic surgeries, the reconstructions, um, the, the Ministry of Health covers the testing, the screening for the MRIs and the mammography, as well as covering the cost of the program for genetic counseling, testing, uh, and the high-risk surveillance clinic. It's not money from the actual medical procedure, whether patients need to take time off to recover, whether that affects their employment or not, that might be a secondary factor perhaps. So the hereditary cancer program is run through the BC Cancer Agency. Uh, women, generally what we do is we test the index case. So the index case is a woman who's diagnosed with either breast or ovarian cancer and have certain criteria, usually strong family history, certain age which they developed the cancer or certain ethnic groups that then trigger the likelihood, a higher than average likelihood of carrying a BRCA1 and 2. They then go through counseling and are offered the test and not everyone chooses to be tested, but the majority who do choose, yes, then the, the testing is covered. If the individual, what we call the index case, is been found to have a BRCA1 and 2, then all first degree relatives are offered the test.